Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So I am back with another lead code question. That's the daily challenge of lead code. So the problem for today was Q reconstruction by height. That's basically a lead code medium question. Before beginning, I'd like to request you all to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel in case of any interview details or anything. Please let me know. As I said, I have a material for Amazon SDE sheet. That's a a basically Excel sheet that I shared for has been and Josh. In the similar way, I've created for Amazon too. That can uh, contains almost the latest asked questions and in interviews. Always, that's uh, quite helpful for people if you're trying. So for that, I need your support. I need at least around 500 subscribers to do that. So please try your heart and to share with your friends. So let's see what the question has. Okay, you are given an array of people. Okay, the name of the array is people, the attributes of some people in a queue, not necessarily in order. Now, what you have been given that each element of that particular array is in the format of HIKI, where I is the position, or you can say for the I person, that index of that person, HI is the height, and exactly KI other people in the front who have heights greater than or equal to HI. So this KI will tell you the number of people who can be in front of it with height greater or equal to HI. Okay. So construct and return a queue that we presented in array. Return the queue should be formatted. Now initially they just have these numbers written but they haven't followed the rule of k that is that only k people should be in front of it if they have height like only refers to you can say only these people can come in front if they have exactly this much height okay so let's see how this question can be implemented so i've taken this example that is given to us this is the input that's the output they expect from us so we have been given an array that's 7044. Now let me explain you with the one example just like what does the line say. We have 7 comma 0. So this means in front of this element there can be 0 people who have height greater than or equal to 7. So let's say if we have this in front of it this or 0 anything then this is invalid why because 7 is less than or we can say 9 is greater but somewhere if we have something like this okay 5 comma 0 and then 7 comma 0 okay so this is valid why because we said there can be 0 people with height greater than or equal to 7 but this is less than so this is a valid solution in this case okay so that's what we need to see that how we need to go up with the problem. So observation is now let's take out these uh, number of uh, you can say elements which we have. So we'll check with that. So initially if you take these elements we have so many like uh, let's take for the height first. The very first is height. Let's arrange it in the format of height. Okay. I'm just writing the heights first like uh, we have heights the smallest height is 4 4 like 4 is the smallest so I'll just write up with the height first okay first is 4 then we have 5 so 5 and 5 2 now we have ambiguity here why because we have 2 with 5 so either of them can be shown then we have 6 and then we have 7 so this is just for the height Okay, this is what we have if we arrange it in the format of height. Now you can see here, these two are having same heights, right? So what we need to do is we need to check that how many people should be in front of it. That is what the solution means. So first, com let's compare these two. Okay, 5, 0 and 5, 2. 5, 0 and 5, 2. 
what does this say there can be at most or exactly two elements that would come in front of it with height less than or oh sorry height greater than or equal to pi so obviously this is valid because it's equal to but this particular element won't be valid in this case because it's less right we need greater than or equal to two elements that come and here if you can see we just need zero elements who have height greater than or equal to 5 so for this case this is valid but for this case this is it right so let's remove this from here now let's take again for 7 and 70 this is not a solution that's going on like this is the format which it will come no i'm just explaining you how these things could go on talking about 7 7 0 and 7 we are just comparing these two okay this is 70 this is 7 this says there could be at most or exactly one element with height greater than or equal to this. so obviously this goes right so somewhere you know that even in a solution that it is saying one only one could be there with greater than or equal to so these should be together right like they should be following each other no let's see what our solution has now we know these will be following and here there could be one in between yeah for now i am saying this but uh, if you talk about this six because this is also verifying it because these are less so less could come in between but for greater there could in be any so in the same way we'll check for these okay so what we need to do is we need to check in the format that very first should be your height is same okay now let's see for these two how we'll uh, verify first we'll check for these heights right now we'll check for the second heights how we'll arrange it so for 0 and 0 the smaller one is 5 and then we have 7 okay we are checking these two then we have 1 and then we have Yes, but five is smaller, so we have five, two, and then followed by seven, one. Okay, this is how our things would go on. So initially we had seven zero seven one, and then we have this. Now talking about seven zero and seven one. We still have two things left. That is four, four, and six, one. Four, four. They say that around four elements. Okay, let's come to six, one first. We have six and one. So in that case, how we'll insert it? Right. Six is smaller than seven, but greater than five. So we'll check for one. Where it could be adjusted, like here or here. Why not? here because we need zero elements like this so it's not valid but if you talk about here so 5 and then 6 okay 5 then 6 and it's having smaller number so this will come here 6 comma 5 then talking about the next element that we have 4 comma 4 okay so 4 comma 4 again we'll check how it could be possible 4 is smaller than this right but can there are four elements no there are no four elements so what we will do we will shift again one we will check are there four elements less than or this no then coming to six now is it possible to have four elements greater than or equal to this yes so we know the position of four would be here so what we need to do is so this is what a sorted solution would look like so what do they want to ask us they want to ask us is that we need to keep three things and two things in mind that taller heights should not be affected by great or uh, smaller heights and we need to sort individual in ascending order until we get that k element how ascending order like let's say 2 this is 2 so first we'll sort in ascending order that second position should be this again we'll sort in ascending order and then this is saying just one should be there so one is here 
greater than. So that's what we need to keep in mind. Let's see how the code is. So it's basically you sort using comparators. Add to the linked list. Uh, sorry, add to the list. That's an ordered list. That's it. And store it directly. So if you sort it, it will take n log n. Okay, sorting takes n log n. Plus order of n square is for addition. Okay. So for order of n square, so somewhere you can see that in the worst case or in this case, always you'll get order of n square as your time complexity. So in case you have any queries, please let me know guys. Um, I hope the solution is clear though it was tricky. So if in case there's any issue, please let me know. And uh, thank you. Keep following. Thank you.